At the British Institute of Human Rights, we make human rights change lives. Changing the lives of people like Nina, who was placed 200 miles from home for mental health treatment. Distressingly, it was really difficult for Nina's family to visit, and she began self-harming. Nina's mental health advocate had been trained by BIHR and knew what to do. He spoke to Nina's social worker about human rights, and together they wrote to the commissioners about her right to family life. Nina was transferred to a unit closer to home and was much happier. At BIHR, we help people and organizations to use human rights to achieve positive change in everyday life. Our project, Care and Support, a human rights approach to advocacy, worked in partnership with six advocacy and support groups to ensure people with mental health and mental capacity issues have more control over decisions and are treated with dignity. We empowered people to know their human rights, enabling them to self-advocate and improve their care or treatment. We ran learning sessions with 342 people using services across England by engaging with existing support networks and our local partners. Darren from Blackburn said, Nobody has ever travelled that far just to talk to me. It was really nice to know that people care. We skilled up advocates to better support people to use human rights in decisions about care and treatment. One advocacy manager fed back, the staff training demystified human rights and has been instrumental in supporting advocates to understand their clients' issues through a human rights lens. We ran sessions for health and care providers to enable them to deliver more rights-respecting services. One staff member said that using a human rights approach started an evolutionary process and our service users are telling us they feel the benefit. This full circle approach helped create local spaces where people are empowered, have the support of advocates and where service providers knew what to do to respect people's rights. Learning was shared through co-produced information and advocacy booklets. We asked people who use services about the biggest barriers they face, making sure the booklets show how human rights can help resolve situations. We piloted the draft booklets with people in learning sessions and online, making changes based on feedback. Helen, who managed the project, said, Involving people in creating the booklets was invaluable. It helped to improve them, making them more accessible and easy to use. With almost 5,000 copies distributed, it's fantastic to hear stories about how people are using the information to change their lives. Read more about the impact of a human rights approach in health and care and get your free booklets on BIHR's Health Hub.